So what I would like to ask you is what is one piece of advice you could give to people at home that would help them be more bold with colors and patterns in their own home? Well, I think you can start in a small way and then become more and more experimental. So I think you can start off with bright colored cushions. You can start off then with a statement chair, maybe your favorite chair, instead of just covering it in something very ordinary, cover it in a fabric which is quite joyful and quite different, which will sit beside your fireplace or in front of your television set. And then when you've got one, you'll suddenly find you need two. And then you'll look at the rug on the floor and say, hmm, that looks, doesn't look very happy. It doesn't look cheerful. And so you build up on it like that. And then suddenly, once you've embraced color and character, then you're never going to look back. And it's amazing how much you can spice up your life. What are your three favorite design secrets in the book? Well, Top Tips is actually one of the characters, one of the chapters. And I think um, using texture within a room, it shouldn't just be one texture. You shouldn't just have linen. You need to have a nobliness of, um, uh, you know, sort of a, maybe a silk, which is like a roughened silk, or you need a good weave and a weave is much stronger so that it lasts much longer if it's going to sit on your sofa. So all those different textures then give the room a room can be very sort of flat and rather cold unless it's given that texture. So that's one thing. Colour is another and how to use colour, not to make it too strong or too bold. But you've got to have those spaces in between where it is calm. So there's always that balance. And then also, I think the third top tip would be how to use pictorial patterns, because now there's a whole sort of... Um, Yes, it's a new thing of using great big murals on the wall, sometimes very large pictorial patterns. So how do you balance your room so that you can make the most of that, have the excitement of something which makes a statement, but at the same time isn't fighting with other things in the room? 